in the upcoming update. Shock Train is back. Hechi gets some extra agility and Tyr becomes better brawler. Shock Train was the king of all weapons a while back. It was strong, oppressive and, unfortunately, it didn't leave much room for a counterplay. We had to tune it down, which we did. Today, however, the landscape has shifted and in the new post-Pantheon world, Shock Train is in a dire need for some help. That's why we are allowing it to charge to a full potential quicker, reducing the amount of charges but increasing the damage of each. Following Bulgasa rebuff in the last balance update, we are giving the same treatment to Hechi. First, we cut 2 seconds of abilities cooldown so you can dash more frequently. Then, we increase the power of Hechi's energy shield by 15%. This should help you stand against explosive and kinetic builds, as well as new cryogenic rockets. Best players on Fenrir have found ways to push this Ragnar robot to the absolute limit by actively switching forms during combat. That lets them to get maximum advantage both from each just shield in tank mode, an extra weapon that a soul form provides. We notice that and we think this is great for robots' overall playability. Now we have decided to give Tyr's forms similar features. Starting with 5.6, Tyr will be launching strong repairing pulse after going into support mode. This should make juggling forms mid-fight more rewarding. If these changes will fit Tyr well enough, we might do something similar to Loki as well, so let us know if you like the change.